And now, one of my favorite games ever. Again, when I was younger, I forget it. Hopefully you can see the, uh, see all of it. Okay, I don't want to spoil any of it, so let's just go with input this game. Left, right, button one, I think. Have that one button two of uh, that one I'm not sure what button three does in this game because there should only be two um you say we do it huh <laughs> that's how the game opens yeah i mean apparently a little loud so i'll lower that from 11 to Seven. Okay, anyway. Easy other ghost girl, thanks for watching. The original Strider is a l not a little harder to control, but again, for a game that was like came out in the 80s, he was pretty goddamn agile. He has the slide attack, of course. Very a lot of bedhead it looks like to me. We get our first item, which is uh, an option. He's a little guy that, like, kind of walks around and shoots with us. Not bad, right? I already took a hit? How? Oh, maybe in the second that I, uh... Oh, and, yeah, he... You know, what happened was he took my health, actually. So your options kind of share your health. If you get hit, they go away, too. So I'm already down to single health. I don't know what these little guys are supposed to be. There are plenty of traps around, by the way. Oh, first mini boss. There's a Russian bodybuilder guy. And you have to stand under here and just know to avoid that fire. Which I think is kind of annoying, frankly. The bodybuilder guy didn't really do much against the guy with a giant sword. Get some health back with a weird Chinese styled kanji. And then there's our first really annoying enemy, these spider crab things. We're going to be seeing a bunch of them in the game. Notice, too, that there's turrets, like, behind the wall. Let's get a big metal panther to help us. That's what happens when you get three options. The first two are those, like, spider tank things. You get third, and, yeah, it's a big jaguar, which I actually don't like as much as the, spite, the little walking options. Um, yeah, this game has a few cheap arcade tricks, but you'll learn them, though. I mean, you know, it's fine. There's our first big power-up, which is an extra long sword. It won't last forever. Thanks, Metal Panther. Cougar. I don't know. Here's a mini-boss. One of those things we... loop for access. Okay, there's a guy with a big Gatling gun. I had to kill him very quickly before. Now it's time for the first real boss. May I introduce Parliament. Russian Parliament. Soviet Parliament. They become, as you notice, a guy with a hammer and a sickle. I killed them really quickly because I have the panther. Hum. <laughs> okay, well. For some reason, my panther is downgraded to the two other options. Anyway, um, even though we won, we get put into Siberia. I suppose, that's how I always read it when I was a kid. So let's slide through here. Oh, it's a big metal gorilla. Holy shit. Again, for the 80s, this was a really big and awesome sprite. That's a weird sprite. Oh, hey. I didn't know that could... Stop that. Shit. I was going to say that was a weird animation of mine. So we're going to climb. Note the buzz saws. We saw that in Strider 2014 recently. Note the time limit. I have a minute 14, apparently, to get through this. Okay. Whoa. Get some health, yep. Yeah. Get some increased max health. Get some fill health. 400 whatever points. Fuck that. Get some pendulum going. We have to climb out of here. I can't pause this, that's right. This is how the Cold War went down, says Malice Toaster. 
There's Solo. He is a mini boss. I hear he's a bounty hunter. The only reason I think that is because his name is Solo, like Han Solo, who's not a bounty hunter, but whatever. Fuck Solo. Let's just run. Oh no, there's landmines. They're exploding everywhere on this slope. Just jump for it. Hopefully Solo. Oh, he's still there. Shit. Solo is kind of a problem, unfortunately, and I should have gotten rid of him earlier. But hopefully we can just kind of take care of his giant barrage of missiles here in the factory setting. Oh shit, there's lightning everywhere. And also big scissor monster things. And a one-up. We're not going to get out of this factory, so we got to keep going through it. Hopefully, there's a way out of here. Um, oh, look at an airship with a cannon that, by the way, never fires. Right, so, and there's bombs and stuff. Ah! Shit. Han Solo is a pirate. That's a good point. All right. These bombs are really annoying, honestly. You can't control the airship, I don't think, that you're on. Point is to jump from airship to airship, but you're jumping straight up into bombs, as you can see, so this is kind of tough to deal with. You'll notice, too, there's, yeah, there's a cannon on the front of the ship that keeps aiming at me, but I don't think it ever fires. Um... I don't know why there's a time limit for a point I can't control either. There's a big fan right above me. What I love about Strider, says Arsenix, is how masher friendly it is. Yes, it really is, actually. There's the bomb bay. There's a big rotating platform. I don't know how it helps this weird airship fly, but it does. Oh, I have to go this way. Wait till it comes this way. Ooh. You don't have to destroy this cannon, but if I don't, it'll turn around and interrupt the boss fight, which I may have just triggered without realizing it. Oh, and here they are. It's the Tongpu sisters. Wow, they kicked my ass there. Um, okay, so let's try that again. Notice they have the same kind of uh, attack we do. Let's kill the pilot. By the way, the, the level will not end if you don't kill the pilot. Like, you can kill the boss if you have to get them in the door. Oh, Balog. Alright. Anyway. What? So the Pooh sisters lead us to the flying battleship Balrog, which they say, they, or Balog, I guess, which they say controls the world. Balog is a pretty cool scene in general. That, if you don't slide under it, that, well, as you can see, does hit you right in the face, that big cannon. Blowing it up puts us inside of it. So, Balog. Um, I would personally... Well, I probably would have minded in the arcade where you pay money. Um, a big ship to, like, kill us. We need to grab onto here so we can get on the right side. Or Strider does kind of have weird knockback, by the way. And I'm hearing later revisions. And I never went this way when I was a kid, so I'll just go this way, I guess. Oh, I forgot, totally forgot about this power-up. Here's a cool power-up. You can have clones of yourself follow behind you and do everything you do. Oops. There we are. So, yeah. So, Strider does have kind of, like, knockback, more or less. Like, you get hit, and sometimes you'll just roll for a bit. It's kind of annoying. It just happens not to get hit on the ground, mind. I love the attention to detail. There's a lot of Morgan Torpedo Bays. Uh-oh. Oh, man. There's scissor bots appearing, and the walls are going to crush in on me. 
No, oh, no, what are we gonna do? And now there's cannons, gotta keep jumping. Oh, I'm through, okay. Oh no, but there's also uh, cannons again, and also a needle bot, and I'm dead. Oh, Alright. For some reason, the game put me a little past where I was, but that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm getting hit by needle bot, but we survived it, and what's this thing? Oh, it's one of those things that launches jets. It'll fl fling you off the level and you'll die. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Like that. <laughs> it's kind of appropriate. Sure, we'll continue play. Game does not make you repeat levels, which is nice. But it does make you refight some bosses. This is another game I used to sw I could swear I beat on one credit, but maybe I'm wrong there. There we are. Okay. So you might notice the little minus G thing. Whatever could that mean? means cool shit, that's what. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Anti-gravity. Strut. Controls are the same, except now, of course, jumping goes makes you go down and such. Hey, whoops. Let's see, so how am I going to do this? Hey! Alright, I'm getting taking stupid hits. There we are. Yeah, you can slide, you can do all that fuck. What the fuck? I don't remember all these cannons everywhere. Let's see here. Capcom put a lot of their cool arcade shit, by the way, on the uh, Genesis. See, like this, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, etc. Now that we've done that. So those big bruiser guys that I fought a bunch of in Strider 2014, I'm wondering if they're supposed to stand in for the... Okay, get ready for a cool boss. This is the gravity core of the ship. What it does is you go around and around it to, to hit it, and then uh, it flings you against the wall, and you, there you have it. You kind of can't help but take hits with this guy, which I think is kind of stupid, but eh, whatever. So, here's... This is why, like, I grab that thing at the bottom to restore health, but, eh. There we are. Now, we killed the gravity core of the ship, so the ship's crashing. As you can see, there's fire everywhere now, and we have to kind of race to get out of the ship, which I thought was a cool thing when I was younger, although I didn't do it very well here. Why does he- why do you think that's so funny? I just blew up your ship. Go. Oh, look at that. The captain very cowardly goes out with his ship, but I kill him and I steal his airship and escape. The end of stage three. He didn't say any of that. Welcome to level four, Amazon. Fun fact. If you've ever read about myths of like Amazon women and shit, you may have heard, uh oh, that they have explosive mushroom things that follow you. And you die if you get that that's a pat trap power up. No, there's a thing. Um you may have heard a rumor, like in the old myths of Amazon women, that they'd cut off one of their breasts in order to shoot uh bows better. That's a real thing. I, I did not make that up, you can look that up. Funnily enough, whoever made Strider, as you're going to see in a few moments, has heard that same thing. And the women in Strider, the Amazon women who are, we're going to be fighting in a moment, are missing a boob. Or at the very least have an asymmetrical, asymmetrical costume. Um, but that's what I thought when I was a kid anyway, because I had heard about that thing. Oops. But apparently, Go Get Em Nailers does agree with me on that, so. They also say Booga Beak and Akabook Stomach. I could swear that's Akabook Stomach. I know it's really not, but, you know, when I was a kid, that's what I thought. 
Now, by the way, for those of you wondering about cutting off your own boob to fire bows better, it does not help you with archery at all, and might have been a myth to begin with. Or, well, I don't think there really were Amazon women, actually, so... Yeah, it's definitely a myth. But anyway, whatever. Point is that does, apparently I've, I've heard people say, no, that does not help, would not help you with archery anyway. That's ridiculous. Don't look at me. I, I don't know anything about archery. Um, another thing you might not have known about the Amazon, there are big metal balls rolling down hills every so often. There's also the Amazon River, which is full of piranha. And also a big brontosaurus and pterodactyls. This game was kind of all over the fucking place. Now you can see the piranha, oh, oh yeah, and the T-Rex is walking on nothing, and there's just tons of them. And triceratops you can ride, why not? Okay, what? And a big boss that just lands on you and kills you. Strider was not always the most fair video game. Um... Look at that, though. Ugh. Oh, I died. So I don't know why they had the Brontosaurus blow up, but, you know. This is actually, I would contend, the hardest boss in Strider. Um, I don't know why they give him homing shots. I don't know why they give him a big fork weapon. I don't know why you're not allowed to give him a place to stand. I don't know why Strider has to grab those vines. Hey. Strider, yeah. So I did know, by the way, about the, the big metal robot dinosaur thing landing on me. But, um, I wanted to get to the checkpoint, honestly. If I remember, like, the safest place... Stop laughing at me! The safest place is right in front of him. Jump a bit. I feel bad that, this, like, Brontosaurus has to explode for this fight to even start. Kind of bullshit, Strider. What that item is? I never. I don't think I ever got that. I Who cares? That's a good sprite. And non sure. You're all talking over each other. Are you? Welcome to the final stage of Strider. They are gonna throw everything they got at us. We already had the stage three mini bosses, the first enemy in this level. Um. So yeah. Ooh. Getting chased by cannons. We're getting kanji. Oh boy. You also get a guy with a Gatling gun, also more cannons, also um, those leaf things from the Amazon, another metal needle guy, ooh, and another scissor guy. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. Also, gravity is upside down. Also, Lots of metal things, lots of things you gotta jump through, or you fall upwards to your death. I don't get that part. So. That's a little bullshit, I think, but whatever. Oh, crap. Alright, fuck it. We made the checkpoint. Who wants another gravity well boss? Why not? Problem is, he's got a couple of those walker guys on the floor with him. 
and they will hit you if you if he throws them into you and I think you need full health to beat him so I think this is a lost cause right now but fuck it we'll give it a shot oh yeah so if you don't jump into him by the way he'll just pick you up I think I'm dead here not much I can, yeah I can't do anything about it All right, so the trick is I need to hit him I need full health before he starts swinging me around we'll hide in the corner we'll kill this guy because he can ah uh, that could be it for me Unless one of those weird things rotating around him hits me, which it can. I think we're okay. Shit. We also get some free hits on him. There we are. Now this... Yeah, everything's exploding again. Ooh, cannons, thanks. Anyway, here's the this first mini-boss. Lasers have now doubled, but... You still know the pattern, you, my, which I got hit by, whatever. You can jump, like, through this way. Is that the way to do it? Thanks. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, let's try that again. Boss gauntlet. A uh, mini boss gauntlet, really. There we are. Just jump one more time so we don't take the hit. Oh, hey now. Hey. Hey, it's solo again. Jeez. Oh, solo, what's let me hit you? Fuck. I kind of forget how to kill solo. It's kind of a trick to him if I remember. Fuck it. Oh god, the gorilla. Alright. Oh, and dinosaurs. That's a weird sound for a T-Rex to make. Uh-oh. Stage 4 boss. Uh, did you skip solo, says Mutant 1988? Yes. Okay, how are we gonna take this? What's up, Dark Kid? Oh! Fucker. I how many of these dudes can- I can fucking- I have to- How many times I gotta hit that dude? Ah. You can't buy your way past the Robosaurus. This is the safest way I know to do it. Oh, those homing shots aren't actually homing. You're right. They just do. They do follow a pattern. Gotta stay the right distance, which is not that. Let's go here. Six times. What do you think? Eight? Eight hits to do it? Seven. <clears throat> Did you say you played another arcade game that was even weirder than Strider? Might actually know what that is. Might even see it next. There we go. Look, it's the first boss again. Only this time we can't kill him. So we just have to ride him. Oh. All right then. Oh, that was bullshit. What the fuck? Not gonna make me fight Robosaurus, are they? Good. Ooh. Uh. 
I don't even know what that means. Is talking about Jesus? People are asking what happened. So the platforming when this thing turns around is not the smartest thing in the world. Now I can hit him. Final boss. Grandmaster Mayo? Mio? Whatever. He creates piranha. He just spawns random enemies. You beat him, and then that happens. The end. Time limit didn't run out, by the way. I just fell through the floor. Strider. And then, to top it all off, here's a whale. Anyway, this game was object designed by S Thing, Take Pong, Tissue, Terry, <laughs> Jin. I can believe that. Uh, oh, there goes Strider. Anyway, the scroll designer, Repu, Ziggy, Marilyn, Morlin, Kentaro, the soft programmer, Timaruchi, who gets his own icon, Tay 250R, which sounds like a fucking robot, Daromba E, Kakun Y, Check Massa, planning advisors by Arthur and Yosan, TF's first planning room, I don't even know what that's a credit for. So, um. Strider. Oh, hold on. That's Strider for you. The question is Is there any game weirder than Strider? Of course there is.